currently standing on Inantirjik or Shieldig Island and behind me there is Shieldig, the village where the Keltman swim finishes and where the bike starts. So the Keltman race was a couple of days ago, I managed to finish it, not quite as quickly as I wanted but I managed to do it and that's the main thing. I knew the Keltman was a really hard race when I signed up for it but it turned out to be really tough on the day. It was a beautiful pinky red sky first thing in the morning as we swam back through sunrise to come here to Shieldig. I was really pleased with my swim, just over an hour, and then we jumped on the bikes. Started off fine, it was great, but then it got absolutely minging. And the technical term in Scotland is, it was pishing down, and there was a really strong headwind for part of it as well. So there's a few hills on the kind of coast, on the west coast, and then you turn inland, and that was where the wind really got in our faces along Loch Glaskarnach. Um, wasn't quite as quick as I wanted to be on the bike, which meant I had too much work to do on the run, which meant I couldn't quite make the cut off. You have to get to the bottom of Benny in 12 hours to make sure you can go up the mountain. They actually closed the mountain early this year because the conditions were so tough. But it took me about 8 hours 20 I think on the bike. I should be aiming for about 7.45 to, to get enough time to make the run. So I think it was about 2 miles into the run I realised I couldn't quite make the pace to get up Benny. And I uh, have to admit my head went down. My head dropped, I uh, got in a bit of a dark place and it wasn't really talking much. I was having to walk a wee bit more than I wanted. And so I ended up doing the lower route, the lower run route. Still managed to finish, still got my white t-shirt. Still had a sprint finish with my mate Angus. Trying to catch him. He beat me by 30 seconds, so fair play to him. But uh, I'm pleased to have done the race. Although the Keltman is an individual race, it's not a race you can do by yourself, by any stretch of the imagination. So. A huge thanks to everyone that helped me out and everyone that wished me well for it as well. Uh, I had a really good support team, Hannah, Andrew and Lynn, who drove around and were handing stuff to me and Andrew, who I, he was my support runner, but I ended up stopped, uh, <laughs> I stopped talking to him because I got kind of really down after the first two miles of the run and my head was in a, in a bad place. I lost the head basically and uh, stopped talking to him for a while, so huge thanks to him. And a massive thank you to my coach, uh, Blair Cartmel, who set me the training regime which allowed me to finish Keltman in the end and hugely improved my bike, my run, particularly my swim. Uh, my swim has improved a lot since I started training properly with him in February and a huge thank you to him, all the kind of knowledge and advice that he was giving me over the time. And also to Roddy Riddle, who lent me the bike to do the Keltman race. I don't have a proper road bike, so he lent me uh, his own bike, which was absolutely amazing. It turned out in the end, the bike route was just... A bit too tough for me on the day, maybe I need more time training, maybe I need to be a little bit better, I definitely need to be a little bit better um, to try and make the cut off. Will I do it in future? Who knows, who can say, maybe, maybe not, yet to be decided. But someone did ask me before the race what are the exact distances of the Keltman and if you look at it it's 3.4k swimming, it's 200k on the bike, that might be slightly different and then it's 41k run um, going up over been a two Monroe tops I think it is. But those are just technical terms, numbers. What it really is, is a hood of a long swim through jellyfish infested waters and there were loads of them. It's then a journey on the bike through some of those beautiful landscape scenery in Scotland. And then there's another journey, and that's the run, and that's a journey deep into your soul, into your psyche, and it's going to test you and see what remains there. And it will bring you out a better person in the end of it, I'm sure, because I met some fantastic people at the Keltman, huge shout out to everyone that said hello, and Stevie who gave me this uh, really nice coaster, which I was drinking my Keltman beer off uh, in that evening. Uh, Keltman beer, that's the only reason maybe to do the race. Forget all the pain, forget the glory and all that. Forget the t-shirt. Uh, the Keltman beer is worth it by itself, I think. If you've been thinking about entering the Keltman or you like doing these kind of things but you've not thought about it, I'd say enter it. The ballot system, you might not get in this year. You might not get in next year. You might get in the future. Don't too many people apply because then I might not get back in. And I've got the white t-shirt this year but it almost feels like unfinished business. There might be a blue t-shirt out there waiting for me. Maybe next year, maybe some other year. Feels like there's something yet to be done.